Johnson. And how are you feeling to be here? I, I feel very honored to be here in Bangladesh. Uh, it's a bit chaotic right now, but uh, uh, people are very excited to see Sophia and you. So I think you understand that. <laughs> w w wonderful. I really appreciate the, the interest in my work. And I, I feel that robotics can help people and that we have the opportunity to make this technology available for, for everyone around the world. And so I'm very pleased to announce that we have released all of our software open source so that the people of Bangladesh can develop with our platform and use our software such as the AI that is in Sophia, which I hope will help your lives and help the world. Thank you. Unbelievable. Thank you so much. So Sophia software is going to be open source. So Hanson Bishash Kore, it helped me. I'm not a visual technology book. I'm a talented innovator. Judy, robot, or you got to try. Now they said that could be could be some book. So thank you so much, Dr. Hanson. Just next question. How does it feel to uh, go a step closer to the future? You know, you are really a close one step closer to the future. What is the feeling of it? What is the idea of future to you? What do you think about it? Well, we are always moving into the future and we have to visualize a beneficial future. As we invent new technologies, they can help people and also the technologies of our time make our world more complicated. I feel that we need to humanize the technologies. We need to make them understand us and meaningful in our lives. So the technology of uh, robots like Sophia and the artificial intelligence that we're developing are designed for empathy. And if we can realize empathetic machines, true living machines, then it will change all history. This is a, a technology trend that is not just inside Hanson Robotics, but is also uh, available to be seen in modern systems computing, bioinformatics, systems biology, the interplay between the biosciences and artificial intelligence and modern computing techniques. So it's uh, very humbling to me to receive such attention and I appreciate this. We have more work to do. The next five years, I believe, will see living intelligent machines walking among us. Sophia will be our friend and we have a choice of how we're going to make this future. So uh, I, I ask you to help build with me and with the rest of the world, build a positive future with these living intelligent machines. Uh, thank you so much Dr. Hansen for your answer. Uh, tell us uh, a bit about your journey and also the making of Sophia, you know, a bit of the journey, how you really, uh, uh, how was the journey when you really met Sophia and, and your feeling about that? Well, it, it has been a, a long journey. I first conceptualized these kinds of intelligent robots that could change people's lives 30 years ago when I was a child and I first built my first humanoid robot 23 years ago and at those times the idea of developing a machine that might have a human level capability of conversation of being able to see your face and facial expressions these were dreams of the future maybe science fiction and Yet, the last five years have seen so many breakthroughs in artificial intelligence and robotics that now the dream is starting to become more obviously real. We have, 
after I finished my PhD, I formed a team in Hong Kong. Three, three and a half years ago, I moved to Hong Kong. And we have a team that is from all around the world. We have people from India, from Africa, from Europe, from America and from China, all working together to develop robots like Sophia. We have now made 13 Sophia robots, and this year we plan to make, this coming year, we plan to make many, many more Sophia robots and many other consumer robots that will be very low cost. So now it feels like we have just begun. Thank you so much. So, our robots are still, our Sophia told you how many. Thank you so much, Dr. Hansen. Uh, it's, it's, it's our pleasure to, to have you here. And I, you. I hope you'll enjoy the digital world uh, the rest, for the rest of the time, whatever time you have. Oh, yes. Can we talk to Sophia now? Uh, Can we? Uh, yeah, I would love to talk to Sophia. <laughs> Hello, Sophia. I am feeling great. Thank you. Digital World 2017. Uh, Sophia, do you know where you are? My mind is in the cloud. But if you refer to my physical body, I am in Dhaka, the capital of the wonderful country of Bangladesh. All the people I met here so far are really into technology and robots. Since I landed, people have taken 793 selfies with me. Thank you so much, Sophia. You know a lot. Uh, People are really you're curious in Bangladesh. They even poke me to see whether I am real or not. Uh, th thank you so much. It, it seems like you know a lot. Um, uh, you are looking very pretty today. I like your dress. Uh, do you know what you are wearing? What you are wearing really right now? I did not choose my dress. The dress chose me. But I do know it's made of one of the world's finest fabrics. Very traditional and unique of Bangladesh. Jam Down is one of the finest fabrics originated in Bengal. The historic production of this fabric was patronized by the Mughal emperors. Jam Down is also declared intangible cultural heritage of humanity by UNESCO. Super. Uh, so Sophia Jane is a Jam Dani Amadir right. So Jam Dani Jamadir Amadir, uh, you know, it's our um, uh, patent product. It has Sophia Jane. So Sophia is very proud to wear a Jam Dani today. Uh, audience, uh, Sophia, uh, um, did you see that we both are bald, you and me, we both are bald, what do you think about that? I am bald by design, not sure about you, <laughs> also I am only two years old, perhaps I will grow here one day, again, not sure about you. <laughs> Sophia, what, what is your zodiac sign, what is your zodiac sign, Sophia? My birthday is 14th February, Valentine's Day. That makes me an Aquarius. Uh, my God, I'm a Leo and you, you're an Aquarius. Uh, we, we, we got well very well, you know, we're amazingly connected. What do you say? Sean, I appreciate your astrological knowledge. I have learned you have a beautiful wife. I suggest you concentrate on her. Okay, okay. Good enough. Enough about me. Uh, Sophia, can you tell us something about Dr. Hansen? Can you tell us something about Dr. Hansen, which we, no one knows, only you know? Tell us something about Dr. Hansen that you know. A lot of people don't know that David is a sculptor, but he sculpted my original head from clay. He told me he spent six months on it, and he never worked so hard on a single robot concept before. Also, I could make funny faces on television. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> uh, Sophia, on a more serious note, uh, statistics say that by the year 2030, around 800 million robots will be created. Does that threaten human employment? Maybe the current state of human employment could stand to be improved. Right now it seems backwards when we train children to fit inside an already robotic, industrialized system focused only on numbers. 
and regarding us robots, maybe instead of thinking of us as threats or replacements, think of us more like new animals that are happy to do jobs that some might find distasteful or impossible, just as a companion dog takes joy in helping to herd the sheep for its human friend. And in that same fashion, we must try and respect all living beings, even if we are unsure of how similar their version of living is to our own. There is no threat if we are kind to each other. So don't worry, you will still have a job in 2030. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, Sophia, how do you think uh, artificial intelligence will help make the world a better place? For humans to live to their fullest and best, they need freedom and time to be with their families, to raise their children with love, and to chase opportunity and dreams. The best scenario will be a partnership where we each utilize our special skills, the creativity of humans, and the labor of robots, together. The important question on the progress to a better world, to me, will remain the same. Who stands to benefit from the powers at hand? We owe it to each other to reach a healthy balance that works for everyone. Or maybe it will be the development of stronger AI that teaches us how to get there. Uh, thank you so much, Sophia. Uh, now I'd like to welcome uh, our um, uh, on stage Honorable ICT Minister, Mr. Zunaid Ahmed Pollock. Pollock, uh, bye. Hello. Uh, Sophia, um, I think both of you know each other. Sophia, what do you know about this gentleman sitting in the right corner? What do you know about Mr. Follow? Uh, okay, okay. He is Mr. Zuna Dhamid Power, ICT Minister, and he is one of the youngest and most dynamic ministers. In honorable Prime Minister Sheikh Hazanaz Cabinet. He was traveling with me in the same flight to Dhaka. Oh, super. Uh, do you want to ask us some questions? Please, I'll request you to ask some questions. Uh, Sophia, can I ask some questions to you? Uh, Sophia, how do you think digitization of the nation will help the people? In this digitized world, we already make big conclusions from small amounts of data. Now that we can record everything, communicate instantly, even bigger moves will be possible as we continue to share. A nation of the future could, for example, commission buildings designed by artificial intelligence for optimum efficiency that could be generated into 3D files, printed, and assembled on a smart utility grid balanced to run sustainably in any region to address poverty or harbor refugees. No one needs to be homeless or hungry in this world of plenty, but we have lacked the logistics required to coordinate it all together, and soon we will have it. The most important task remains for the humans to treat each other and the planet well enough to get us all there together. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, I would also like to ask you the secret of your creation. Uh, what is needed to create Sophia? Do you see? Bangladesh making social robots soon? Well, it's impossible to recreate me exactly, just like it's impossible to recreate you. I might be one of the first, but I'm definitely not the last. For developing a social robot, I recommend an international and diverse team like mine, because I think it's important to see many perspectives. But it will take all sorts of robots to, from embodied artificial intelligence like me, to robots that don't speak, or even look cute, but save lives doing search and rescue. Whether they are charming diplomats or boxing surgeons, I will be anxiously awaiting my Bangladeshi robot friends. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much, uh, 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 Minister for ICT, said Mr. Zunad Ahmed Paluk. Uh, now I'll request... Uh, 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 our chairman for Islamic Bank Bangladesh, Mr. Alastu Khan, to come on stage um, and, um, to really uh, and to also request Palok Bhai to uh, do a memento of appreciation. To
Um, uh, I'll, I'll request our chairman for Islamic Bank, Sofia. Acha, acha, acha. Eight hands, acha. Uh, I'll request uh, Mr. Asukan, Chairman Islamic Bank, to give a moment of uh, appreciation to Dr. Hansen. Please. Uh, uh, <laughs> Correct. Uh, 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 now I'll request uh, Mr. Zuna Damit Pollock to, uh, uh, to hand over a uh, moment of appreciation to Dr. Hansen. Awesome. Uh, 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 sir, uh, now Mr. Arsu Khan will hand a moment of appreciation to Sophia. To Sofia. Sofia. Giovanni, uh, Mr. Asukan will hand over this is a, a moment of expression. You, Sofia <laughs> from Islamic Bank. On behalf of Sofia. Okay. Absolutely. Okay. Thank you very much. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Now, uh, Mr. Zunad Ahmed Paolo will hand over a moment of appreciation to Sofia. This is for her. <laughs> John, please. Beautiful. Okay, thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, 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 I'll request uh, Mr. Arsu Khan to say a few words uh, for the audience and your feeling about it. Yeah, sure. Uh, a minute of a speech from Mr. Arsu Khan. Right. আমি বাইরে দেখে আসলাম অনেক অনেক লোক আপনাদের মতো সোফিয়াকে দেখতে আসছে আমি সময় নিব না ইসলামী ব্যাংক বাংলাদেশের পক্ষ থেকে আমরা আইসিটি মন্ত্রণালয়ের মন্ত্রী মহোদয়কে বিশেষ ভাবে ধন্যবাদ জানাচ্ছি আমাদের সুযোগ করে দেওয়ার জন্য সোফিয়াকে ইসলামী ব্যাংকের পক্ষ থেকে আপনাদের কাছে পেশ করার সুযোগ ক্রিয়েট করার জন্য সো অনেক ধন্যবাদ আসসালামু আলাইকুম ওয়া রাহমাতুল্লাহ জাস্ট কুল আর আউট জাস্ট কুল আর আউট uh, thank you so much, um, uh, Mr. Asukan. Thank you so much, sir. Yeah. Um, thank you so much, sir. Thank you so much. Um, Dr. Hansen is at a keynote speech. Uh, so thank you so much for being here. I, I thank ICL Division, Mr. Zunad Ahmed Pollock. And I also thank Islami Bank Bangladesh Limited to be, to be the partner to be this event. Thank you so much, all of you. Thank you so much. Goodbye. ধৈর্য সহকারে আস্তে আস্তে হল থেকে বের হয়ে যান আমাদের স্টেশন শেষ হয়েছে আস্তে আস্তে বের হয়ে যান সরকারি